And despite the outrage over what happened there in Uvalde, the, the Republican governor of that state, Greg Abbott, has resisted raising the age to buy assault-style rifles. Just last week, he claimed it would be an unconstitutional move to make that happen. There have been three court rulings uh, since May uh, that have made it clear that it is unconstitutional to ban someone between the ages of 18 and 20 from being able to buy an AR. It is clear that the gun control law that they are seeking in Uvalde, as much as they may want it, it has already been ruled to be unconstitutional. That was Governor Greg Abbott just within the last several days. And joining me now is the Texas State Senator Roland Gutierrez there outside the school where so many of those kids returned to class today. Um, Mr. Gutierrez, thank you for being with us. I just want to get your reaction to the governor of your state saying it is unconstitutional to raise the age to buy assault style rifles to 21. What do you make of that? Peter, it's a bold-faced lie. Greg Abbott is a lawyer, former Supreme Court justice in, in the state of Texas, former attorney general. He knows better. The fact is, if he wants to have a debate on the constitutionality of Fifth Circuit cases like NRA 1 and NRA 2 that were denied uh, review by the United States Supreme Court, we can have that debate. But Greg Abbott is not being truthful with the Texas public. He doesn't want to have the real discussion on guns that we all deserve. Let me focus on the situation at the schools in the community there. How much concern, Mr. Senator, do you have that not all of the security measures are in place yet as they return to class? Some parents are already complaining that the, the district can't say with certainty whether any of the 33 officers assigned now to monitor the campuses there were among those who responded to Rob Elementary in last May. Have enough, enough fixes been made to satisfy your view? Well, the fact is, Peter, there's still several schools that don't have the fencing, but that's really the problem. We've turned our schools into little mini prisons. I just, in the foreground beyond me, I saw children walking to the playground with a DPS trooper right behind them. Is that really what we want for our kids, or do we want to have a meaningful discussion on guns? This governor has refused to talk about the thing that is most important to Texas families. 65% of Republicans want an age limit on AR-15 access, but this governor refuses to have that conversation. So at the end of the day, is this just a voting issue? Is that the only way this gets resolved? I mean, in places like uh, Texas, obviously, it is a majority Republican state. There's certainly a lot of moderates who have views similar to yours on this issue. But at the end of the day, does this ever change unless there's change in the ballot box? Well, we certainly need to have accountability, Peter. From everything that happened here, we have a district attorney, a Republican district attorney, who's refused to let go of any trans radio transmissions or body cam footage because she's claiming some kind of investigation. She's refused to allow, allow DPS, which is the main law enforcement entity that was there on the scene within the two minutes, to give us the information that we're asking for. These families deserve accountability, they deserve transparency, and they deserve a change of laws. And if Greg Abbott doesn't want to have that discussion, then we'll have our accountability at the ballot box. And my, my message to every Republican voter is, this is going to happen again unless we do something about this type of weaponry in the hands of 18-year-olds. Yeah, it's that fear that haunts so many Americans, not just in Texas, but around the country right now. Texas State Senator Roland Gutierrez, we always appreciate your perspective and your time. Thank you very much.